Battlefield 2042 has a bit of a skins controversy, and I think both sides on this argument have some valid points, and I wanna go over those things today and just have a good discussion around it. So without further ado, remember if you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave it a nice, a thick, and juicy like as always. Of course, if you enjoy this kind of content, you want more like it, be sure to hit that big red sexy subscribe button right underneath the video. Also gotta thank my channel members, you guys help make these videos possible. If you wanna join, get access to the exclusive perks that they get, be sure to check out that blue join button. Anyway, let's begin. First of all, I apologize for the echoey room I'm in. I can't really do anything about it. I'm very, very far away from home in my studio. Quotes on studio. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just here in this echoey room. This is the best we got. And uh, just, we're gonna have to roll with it. Just is what it is. So let's get right on into this bad boy. The skins controversy. Now, ever since Battlefield 5, it's been a bit of a controversy to have these goofy, goofy skins in Battlefield. It's just been a thing. Some people like it. They think that it offers more player choice, and if they paid for the game, they should be able to look however they want within the game, especially since it's a live service game, so they're helping make the studio more money. And I can understand that. I can appreciate that. I think if you did pay for the game, you should be able to look however you want within the game. I can also understand the other side of the argument where it's like, well, these skins go against the general tone of the game. They go against the atmosphere that's supposed to be created by the game. This isn't the game that was advertised to us. And I think that's a common theme in both BF5 and 2042. Obviously, World War II goes without saying it's the most apocalyptic conflict that mankind has ever seen. It's the only use of nuclear weapons against another nation. It's uh, It kind of speaks for itself. And then with 2042, you have this apocalyptic future and all all the nations of the world have collapsed except for two superpowers in both Russia and the United States. And this third faction is this mercenary no-pat group that is basically the special forces of every fallen nation just kind of accumulated together, even some defectors from said superpowers. But then you get into both of these games, and while it does have some grit to it, it has some things that are like, oh man, this is awesome, this is kind of badass and everything like that. You also got these weird goofy things like the voice lines in 2042. Don't be sad. This is just how it works out sometimes. Or like these skins in Battlefield 5, which for whatever reason, instead of going with genuine World War II cosmetics that people would have paid boatloads for, they decided to go with canvas uniforms and leather biker jackets. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but you know, I'm not in charge. And the main argument here is really just atmosphere, but I think it goes something a little bit deeper than that, and something that I think is an issue at the core of the past two Battlefield games, and that is a lack of consistency. They try to tell you one thing, this is about World War II, this is gonna be very immersive. They have all these mechanics that are supposed to be immersive, or this is about an apocalyptic future, there's these weather events that are going down, the nations are collapsing, there's famines everywhere, these desperate no-pats are here trying to help make the world a better place, and then you get into it and you've got goofy outfits, you got goofy voice lines, you got these goofy and around things. It's very inconsistent and it's not really what people paid to experience. Now I'm not sitting here and saying, oh, these skins ruin the game. <laughs> I'm not saying that at all. Uh, I think that if you decide to go for a goofy game, I think you should go for a goofy game. If you decide to go with a gritty game with a gritty atmosphere, you should go for a gritty game with a gritty atmosphere. I don't think it's so much lack of player choice. I don't think it's so much that we should limit player choice. I, I don't think it should be that. I, I think what it should be is what is offered matters to the integrity of the game, matters to the consistency of the experience within the game. And I think the inconsistency is an issue. Think about really any Battlefield before this, they all had their own unique consistent tone. Of course, you have your Battlefield 3, 4, 1, that's gonna be a bit more on the gritty side of things. It's gonna offer this more, as you could say, authentic experience of whatever conflict they're trying to portray. And I think a lot of people really enjoyed that, but at the same time, you can have more lighthearted games like the Battlefield bad company games, and people enjoyed those as well. Even Hardline was unique in a lot of ways, and I know it was mostly rejected by the Battlefield community, but the people that love Hardline love Hardline because it is consistently itself. It doesn't try to be anything other than what it is. And that's really been the issue with the last two games, is there's no consistency with what the game wants to be. Not only did Battlefield 5 have issues in basically trying to go really hardcore in its gameplay, but it's also trying to be this goofy face paint, weird skins type of game and it just didn't come together very well and then Battlefield 2042 has a lot of mechanics from games like Modern Warfare 2019 and Warzone and it's trying to do some Apex stuff here and there and on top of that portraying this gritty apocalyptic future but it's also got these goofy voice lines so it's trying to be weird and funny in that kind of a way so what is the game? What is it trying to be? 
Who is it trying to be? Why can't it just be the best version of itself? Why don't they just pick a singular vision and follow that vision? I'm not saying the game is completely terrible. I'm enjoying 2042 overall. I'm just saying I want to see consistency from the game. I want to see more of that. Personally, I don't think the skins are going to ruin the game entirely. I think it's just not going to add anything positive to the game, in my opinion. And the reason I say that is not to say, oh, well, player choice is bad. No, again, let's reiterate. I think the most negatively received parts of the game are some of that goofier stuff. And I think if you put more of that in the game, you're only negatively affecting the game. For me personally, I don't mind the skins. I'm not gonna boycott the game if they add some goofy skins into it. I can live with them. But for me, my experience is not improved by having them in the game. It's not something that I'm like, oh yeah, I'm glad I can be Santa Boris. I just, I want to see a better, more consistent tone. I want to see some of those concept art skins that are just not in the game. They look like the AI soldier skins, maybe, but I want to see those in the game. I want to see that kind of thing. I want to see this more BF3, BF4 style tone to things. I want, to, I want this gritty aspect, this almost authentic version of what a future conflict would be like. I want to see the desperation of these soldiers, the equipment that they have that they would have taken from their nations and the unique different things that they bring from each nation and what they have to offer within in the game. I think you can have a lot of really cool, unique looks at different militaries from around the world by doing that instead of having Santa Boris and Lumberjack McKay and other skins like that. I just, that's really my main thing. Again, it's not going to ruin the game for me. It's just, it's not going to make the game any better for me. And that's really the issue for me personally. I know a lot of people feel otherwise. Feel free to let me know your feelings on the subject down below. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.